let's look at a couple ways to derive elevation information in a profile at a specific location. In this case, we have a profile set that's already been created. Let's zoom in here a little bit. And we'll look at uh, three different ways to do this. Number one would be tracking. Uh, my uh, vertical alignment here is my active alignment. If in inroads you go to the tools drop down, go to tracking, and go to vertical alignment, you get dynamic information on the screen reading out both on your cursor and in the bottom of your display of where the current cursor location is. You can snap to elements, it'll give you that information. That information you can't drop in your screen or write to a report or document in any way. Now, another way to do that, you know, and it doesn't mean you have to have an element either. You just want to dynamically track and check your alignment. That's not a bad command. But if we go on to another method, you can go on to the geometry tools, go to vertical curve set, and go to events. Now, there's a couple ways to enter this. If there's a particular station that you're interested in, let's just say for whatever reason we want to extract an elevation, at station 1766.5 um, along our alignment, when you select apply, it gives you a readout in the events portion of the dialog box telling you what station and elevation that's at. So if that's all the information you need, that's great. You can simply close that dialog. If you do want to annotate that or post it to the screen, you can do that through the vertical annotation commands. So if we go back to geometry, but this time select geometry and vertical annotation, we can um, annotate those event points. We have to tell inroads that we want to annotate them. So we go over to our points portion of the dialog box. We uh, turn on event point text. I also want the uh, leader line that goes with that, so I'll just turn on event point. Now if I come up here first to uh, the point type and select event, this is where we can control what gets displayed, how many decimals, and all that information. If I select apply, that location is now posted to the screen. So that's another way to do it if you're interested in your vertical alignment elevation at that point. So we saw how tracking will give us the invert here at this uh, the bottom of this culvert. If we want to post that to the screen, one way to do it is to use drafting nodes. If I go back to the inroads drafting pull down here, we can place a profile note um, obviously, this, these drafting notes have to be set up and configured the way you want them. But if I want to uh, get um, station and elevation along this in the profile, if I apply, I can snap to the invert of that culvert, drag out. My drafting notes will let me place that piece of text in the, the screen wherever I want it. I can drop it in there, reset, close the command, and that's uh, been posted to the screen. Now I have it documented. So there's three different ways we can uh, extract elevations dynamically, creating an event point along our vertical alignment, or using drafting notes.